New at 6, a woman's car ripped apart by the street she was driving on. The problem, a bad manhole cover. She says a simple drive through an Orlando neighborhood left her with a hole in her transmission. She says it happened in September on Illinois Street in the Mills 50 area of Orlando. Tonight, she came to the New 6 to get results and to warn other drivers. And News 6 reporter Eric Sandoval is live tonight with more on what he has found out about the bad manhole. Eric? Yeah, first of all, I want to show you this manhole in question, Lisa. It's on a brick street here on Illinois, and I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but it's actually raised from the rest of the street, and therein lies the problem. Now, the insurance company for this driver told her to take pictures. She did one better. She took video, and together we found out that this problem was much bigger than just her. Here is a trail of my car with an oil leaking. This is what Shirley Wang says happened moments after her Mini Cooper drove over this raised manhole cover last September. I felt something. I felt this grating on the bottom of my car. She says that grating was her transmission and other parts of her car being torn away. She shot this video to show her insurance company the leaking fluid when another driver drove up and told her she had the same problem. I totaled my car on this phone. I will do that. I've but done it and they've done nothing and I never got any money or anything. And my car got money. Wang says she filed a claim with the city of Orlando immediately, eight months ago. What have you Her response? Uh, I never heard any follow-ups from them. News 6 investigated and we found out Wang is not alone in not hearing back or not getting any money back. We found out over the last two years, the city of Orlando's risk management department has gotten three other claims on this one manhole on Illinois Street alone. They've only paid one claim, and that was in 2015. So why haven't they paid Wang or the other two drivers? The city says they haven't gotten the right documentation for them, but Shirley says she was never told what documentation to give them. What's more, the city told us they fixed the manhole. When you come back here nine months later now and you see this manhole today, is it any different? Has it been fixed? It doesn't look like it has. Uh, it's still raised almost eight to ten inches above. And, you know, we've been asking questions to the uh, risk management division. They have not gotten back to us for weeks. So today we went to the mayor's office and they got us the answers we needed. We found out what documents Wang has to submit and, more importantly, who to submit them to. We put that information on our website at clickorlando.com. Just look for this story. Lisa, Matt? Yeah, Eric, certainly a good warning for people who may be driving in that area. But what about repairing that yeah. manhole? Uh, is the city doing anything? It's still raised, as we can see. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we had asked and they said they fixed it. And just 45 minutes ago, the city got back to me and said that they actually fixed this in October of last year. Again, they wouldn't tell us how. But the people who live around here actually told us that crews have been out here. Actually, you can see it's spray painted there on the street and on top of the manhole cover. It may just be a work in progress, Lisa. Hmm. We're going to find out more on this, let you know. All right. Eric Sandoval reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.